Gentlemen, to a journey of empowerment and resilience, a journey into the art of danger. In a world where the stakes are high, and the ruthless reality of survival prevails, there exists a dichotomy between the dangerous and the prey. As the saying goes, it's eat or be eaten, and in this unforgiving world, those who master the art of danger rise as apex predators while the rest, like harmless worms, are stepped on by the relentless forces of life. Consider for a moment the gravity of this truth, there are individuals, rare and revered, who understand the ruthless nature of our world. They navigate its challenges with a ferocity that commands respect, and their presence is felt in every room they enter. These are not just individuals, they are the apex predators, the ones you don't mess with, the architects of their destinies. Now, think about the masses, harmless worms, faces in the crowd with opinions that echo into oblivion, voices drowned by the cacophony of mediocrity. But here's the good news, you don't have to be one of them. You have the opportunity to elevate yourself, to ascend from the ranks of the prey, and to become the apex predator you were meant to be. I am here to teach you the art of danger, to guide you through the principles that will transform you into the predator, not the prey. But why does it matter? Why should you embark on this journey to master the art of danger? The answer lies in the realization that the world respects the dangerous, the ruthless, the ones who refuse to be chewed up and spit out by life. The journey to becoming an apex predator is not just about survival, it's about thriving, standing tall amidst the challenges, and commanding the respect of those around you. So, buckle up, because in the next few moments, we will unravel the wisdom of Stoicism, a philosophy that aligns seamlessly with the art of danger. We will delve into 10 essential lessons that will equip you with the tools to navigate life's complexities, cultivate resilience, and emerge as the apex predator in your own narrative. Lesson 1. Aggressive Gratitude. In the pursuit of personal empowerment and resilience, the philosophy of Stoicism offers profound insights and timeless lessons. Just as the apex predator navigates the harsh reality of the wild, individuals can cultivate their own mental and physical fortitude to navigate life's challenges. In this exploration, we will delve into 10 essential lessons from Stoicism, drawing parallels to the wisdom shared in the reference text. Stoicism, a school of philosophy founded in Athens by Zeno of Sidium in the early 3rd century BCE, has endured through the ages as a guide to living a virtuous and fulfilling life. One of its foundational principles is the concept of gratitude, a theme that resonates strongly with the reference text's emphasis on the necessity of being dangerous in the face of life's ruthlessness. The Stoics believe that true gratitude goes beyond mere words or fleeting acknowledgments. Instead, it is an active and aggressive practice, requiring individuals to actively appreciate and make the most of the blessings they have. Much like the reference text, which urges individuals to master the art of danger to become the apex predator, Stoicism encourages individuals to master the art of gratitude to become powerful and virtuous. In a world where comfort often breeds complacency, the Stoic lesson of aggressive gratitude becomes a crucial tool for personal transformation. The reference text's critique of those who complain about irrelevant things due to their comfortable lives finds resonance in Stoicism's call for individuals to be aggressively grateful for the opportunities and privileges they possess. Stoicism teaches that if you are born in a decent country or have food to eat every day, you should be aggressively grateful. It considers ingratitude to be a weakness, a sentiment echoed in the reference text's portrayal of those who are ungrateful as weak prey rather than dangerous men. The Stoic perspective emphasizes that being grateful is not merely a superficial expression but a deep, internal commitment to making the most of one's blessings. The reference text points out that people in third world countries facing severe hardships often exhibit a remarkable lack of complaint. Stoicism aligns with this observation, asserting that real gratitude comes from the heart and is a powerful force that can propel individuals to unlock their potential. It challenges the misconception that gratitude is just empty words, emphasizing that true gratitude is expressed through actions and the productive use of one's gifts and opportunities. To truly internalize the stoic lesson of aggressive gratitude, individuals must recognize that being ungrateful keeps them weak. The first step toward true power, according to stoicism, is to be aggressively grateful for the life and opportunities one has been given. 
This aligns seamlessly with the reference text's assertion that mastering the art of danger starts with a mindset of aggressive gratitude, as it sets the foundation for personal strength and resilience. In conclusion, the stoic lesson of aggressive gratitude provides a profound framework for personal growth and empowerment. By internalizing this lesson, individuals can transcend the limitations of complacency, actively appreciating their blessings and channeling that gratitude into productive and virtuous actions. In doing so, they align with the reference text's theme of becoming the apex predator in the ruthless world of life's challenges. Lesson 2, Willing to Lose It All Building upon the stoic foundation of gratitude, the second lesson delves into the concept of detachment and the willingness to lose it all. Stoicism, with its roots in ancient philosophy, encourages individuals to cultivate resilience by detaching from external outcomes. This principle aligns seamlessly with the reference text's assertion that the most dangerous individuals are those with nothing to lose, emphasizing the strength derived from a mindset free from excessive attachment. The Stoics recognize that attachment to external circumstances, be it a job, studies, or relationships, can render an individual vulnerable. Similarly, the reference text warns against clinging to aspects of life that can be used against you. While both philosophies acknowledge the importance of these external factors, they advocate for a balanced approach where one does not become so attached that a single decision from another person can lead to personal destruction. Stoicism's emphasis on the man who has nothing to lose being the most dangerous creation aligns with the reference text's portrayal of the apex predator as someone who is willing to lose it all. The Stoic perspective challenges individuals to evaluate their attachments critically and emphasizes the importance of resilience in the face of potential loss. To embody the Stoic lesson of detachment, one must recognize that true strength lies in the willingness to lose everything. The Stoics understood that by being prepared to face loss without succumbing to despair, individuals can achieve a level of strength that sets them apart from the masses. This aligns with the reference text's depiction of dangerous men who, unburdened by excessive attachments, navigate the world with a sense of fearlessness. The Stoic philosopher Seneca once stated, it is the man who has everything invested in himself who is afraid when nothing goes well for him. This encapsulates the Stoic understanding that the truly dangerous individual is not the one with everything to lose but the one who is willing to lose everything. The reference text echoes this sentiment, highlighting the vulnerability that arises when one's sense of self is entirely dependent on external circumstances. In conclusion, the second Stoic lesson underscores the importance of detachment and the willingness to lose it all. By embracing the Stoic principle of resilience through detachment, individuals align with the reference text's portrayal of dangerous men who navigate life unencumbered by excessive attachments. In this way, they lay the groundwork for personal strength, adaptability, and fearlessness in the face of life's uncertainties. Lesson 3. Articulate Your Thoughts Transitioning from the Stoic principles of gratitude and detachment, the third lesson explores the power of articulate expression. Stoicism, with its focus on rationality and effective communication, aligns with the reference text's acknowledgement of the might of articulation. The Stoic philosophy recognizes that nothing is more dangerous than a person who can articulate their thoughts well. In the Stoic tradition, the ability to articulate thoughts effectively is considered a potent tool for leading others and garnering support. This aligns with the reference text's examples of individuals like Andrew Tate, whose rise to prominence is attributed not only to physical prowess but also to a silver tongue. Both Stoicism and the reference text emphasize that the tongue, when wielded adeptly, can be mightier than both the pen and the sword combined. Stoicism encourages individuals to sharpen their ability to express thoughts coherently and persuasively. The Stoic understanding is that those who can lead others and assemble an army behind them possess a unique form of power. The reference text, in acknowledging the rise of certain individuals due to their ability to articulate thoughts effectively, underscores the real-world implications of mastering this skill. The Stoic commitment to articulating thoughts aligns with the reference text's critique of channels that attempt to imitate success through superficial means. Stoicism asserts that true power lies in being a person who genuinely shares a message to help others, emphasizing authenticity in expression. This authenticity, coupled with articulate communication, distinguishes the truly dangerous individuals from those who merely mimic strength. 
To embody the stoic lesson of articulate expression, individuals must recognize that the power of the tongue goes beyond mere words. It is about the ability to convey thoughts in a manner that resonates with others, inspiring action and support. The Stoic philosophy challenges individuals to invest time in honing this skill, understanding that it is not just the message but the way it is conveyed that holds true influence. In conclusion, the third Stoic lesson highlights the importance of articulate expression as a powerful tool for personal influence and leadership. By aligning with the Stoic principle of mastering the art of communication, individuals can navigate the complexities of social dynamics, echoing the reference text's recognition of the might of a silver tongue in the pursuit of personal success. Lesson 4, Level-Headed Composure Building upon the Stoic foundations of gratitude, detachment, and articulate expression, the fourth lesson delves into the concept of level-headed composure. Stoicism, with its emphasis on rationality and calmness, aligns with the reference text's recognition of the importance of maintaining composure, especially in challenging situations. Stoicism advocates for individuals to be rational and grounded even when faced with adversity, a principle mirrored in the reference text's depiction of highly put-together individuals. The stoic commitment to maintaining composure echoes the reference text's assertion that level-headedness allows one to be calm and sensible amid difficult circumstances, setting them apart from those who succumb to emotional turmoil. The stoic approach to composure is practical, urging individuals to take a deep breath when confronted with challenging situations. This aligns with the reference text's advice to calm down and objectively examine the situation before making decisions. Both philosophies underscore the importance of maintaining a clear and rational mindset in navigating life's complexities. Stoicism encourages individuals to apply an objective examination of a situation after taking a deep breath, utilizing common sense to make informed decisions. This aligns with the reference text's recognition that, in difficult situations, highly put-together individuals can remain calm and sensible, showcasing a level-headed approach that others may lack. To embody the stoic lesson of level-headed composure, individuals must practice maintaining rationality in the face of adversity. The stoic philosophy recognizes that this skill can be cultivated through deliberate efforts to stay grounded and composed. By doing so, individuals align with the reference text's portrayal of those who can maintain composure even in the most challenging situations, demonstrating resilience and strength. The stoic principle of level-headed composure is a valuable asset in the pursuit of personal empowerment. By internalizing this lesson, individuals can navigate life's challenges with a calm and sensible demeanor, echoing the reference text's recognition of the importance of maintaining composure in the face of heartburn issues. In doing so, they solidify their position as individuals who possess the mental fortitude necessary to thrive in a ruthless world. Lesson 5, Mental Fortitude Transitioning from the Stoic principles of composure and rationality, the fifth lesson explores the concept of mental fortitude. Stoicism, with its emphasis on inner strength and resilience, aligns with the reference text's recognition of the importance of mental toughness in navigating life's challenges. Stoicism teaches that mental toughness is crucial for any individual seeking to navigate the complexities of life effectively. This aligns with the reference text's acknowledgement that true strength lies in the ability to maintain composure, especially when faced with adversity. Both philosophies emphasize the importance of developing resilience and fortitude in the face of life's inevitable hardships. The stoic approach to mental fortitude involves pushing oneself beyond comfort zones, confronting challenges head-on, and refusing to succumb to fear or doubt. This aligns with the reference text's recognition that fatigue makes cowards of men, highlighting the importance of conditioning the mind to withstand challenges and emerge stronger. Stoicism encourages individuals to embrace discomfort and adversity as opportunities for growth, recognizing that true strength is forged through adversity. This aligns with the reference text's assertion that real dangerous men have pushed themselves outside of their comfort zones, proving to themselves that they can overcome fatigue and adversity. To embody the stoic lesson of mental fortitude, individuals must cultivate resilience and determination in the face of adversity. The Stoic philosophy teaches that mental toughness is developed through deliberate practice and exposure to challenging situations. 
By embracing discomfort and refusing to succumb to fear, individuals align with the reference text's portrayal of highly resilient individuals who can navigate life's challenges with grace and strength. In conclusion, the fifth Stoic lesson underscores the importance of mental fortitude in navigating life's challenges effectively. By embracing discomfort, confronting adversity head-on, and refusing to succumb to fear, individuals can cultivate the inner strength necessary to thrive in a ruthless world. In doing so, they align with the reference text's recognition of the importance of mental toughness in the pursuit of personal empowerment and resilience. Lesson 6, Physical Fortitude. Building upon the stoic foundations of mental fortitude, the sixth lesson explores the concept of physical fortitude. Stoicism, with its holistic approach to personal strength, aligns with the reference text's recognition of the importance of being physically fit in navigating life's challenges. Stoicism teaches that a truly dangerous individual is not only mentally sharp but also physically fit. This aligns with the reference text's emphasis on the significance of physical fitness, highlighting that being in good physical shape not only contributes to one's appearance but also provides the extra energy and stamina needed to confront and overcome challenges. The Stoic philosophy encourages individuals to recognize the symbiotic relationship between mental and physical well-being. By training both the mind and the body, individuals can cultivate a comprehensive strength that equips them for any situation. This aligns seamlessly with the reference text's emphasis on being strong and prepared for both physical altercations and mentally exhausting days. Stoicism advocates for the importance of training in martial arts, recognizing that it not only contributes to physical fitness but also sharpens the mind. The reference text echoes this sentiment, emphasizing that an aesthetic physique is commendable, but true physical fortitude involves being prepared for any situation, whether physical or mental. To embody the stoic lesson of physical fortitude, individuals must recognize the importance of holistic well-being. Stoicism encourages regular physical training and martial arts practice, aligning with the reference text's call to never neglect the body. By maintaining physical fitness, individuals not only enhance their appearance but also cultivate the energy and strength required to power through life's challenges. The Stoic perspective on physical fortitude serves as a reminder that a dangerous individual is one who takes care of both mind and body. By recognizing the interplay between mental and physical well-being, individuals can embody the principles of Stoicism and align with the reference text's depiction of highly resilient and prepared individuals who navigate life with strength and vigor. And there you have it, the art of danger decoded through the timeless principles of Stoicism. As we conclude this exploration, remember that the journey to becoming the apex predator is not just about dominating others but mastering yourself. It's about gratitude, detachment, articulate expression, composure, mental and physical fortitude, a holistic approach to personal empowerment. Now, armed with these lessons, you have the keys to unlock the potential within you. The world is ruthless, and it's your choice whether you'll be chewed up or emerge as a force to be reckoned with. The dangerous men of the world don't wait for opportunities, they create them. They don't complain about their circumstances, they shape them. So, go out into the world with the wisdom of stoicism and the mindset of a true apex predator. Master the art of danger, and watch as you transform into the individual who commands respect, navigates challenges with ease, and stands tall as the apex predator in the ruthless world we inhabit. Thank you for joining this exploration of the art of danger. Until next time, thrive, conquer, and embrace the power within you.